Good morning, and welcome to another crop update from Cayman Hurricane Center. I'm Adam, and uh, this very early morning, we are talking about a couple of systems. Uh, we're talking about Invest Area 91L, a top wave in the Eastern Caribbean, as well as uh, Lee and Maria out in the open Atlantic. Here on your screen is the satellite imagery of the Western Atlantic Caribbean Gulf of Mexico area, pointing out on several systems, uh, one which is Invest Area 90. Um, 99L, which is uh, located uh, up here, more or less a trough of low pressure over the state of Florida. This is expected to um, blow up on convective activity and be a rainmaker for the state of Florida, eventually making its way to the northern Gulf Coast which will produce rainfall for uh, areas such as Louisiana, uh, Mississippi, maybe potentially Texas, but overall rainy conditions there. Uh, the other area of interest is a tropical wave that is starting to impact the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. Uh, this tropical wave um, the northern end is expected to split off from the main bulk of the wave and move west-northwest uh, up through the Bahama area while the rest of this trough wave moves off towards the west. Uh, another thing to take note of is another area that is developing and it is a slow uh, but consistent development that is expected to continue through this weekend into next week and going forward. We do have a broad monsoon trough that's developing here in the Central American Western Caribbean region, and this monsoon trough will lift up towards the north, and uh, there is also a surface trough in the Western Caribbean. What is expected to happen is that uh, this surface trough is expected to merge in with the monsoon trough and also allow the tropical wave to merge with the monsoon trough and uh, basically expecting an area of low pressure to develop down here, which models are agreeing that this would likely develop and head towards the north, uh, eventually impacting potentially directly onto the uh, Cayman Islands and then on towards Cuba and then towards Florida. Again, there, there is still a bit of a spread with the models. Again, uh, some suggesting more of a west-northwesterly track or should I say northwesterly track before turning off towards the north and northeast, some suggesting a little bit further off towards the east, nearest Jamaica, or between uh, Cayman Brack, Little Cayman and Jamaica, off towards uh, Cuba, and then northwestern Bahamas. But generally speaking, this is what we're looking at for the developing system. Uh, either way, it's all part of this big monsoon gyre, and this big monsoon gyre will be producing a lot of heavy rainfall for uh, areas between uh, Nicaragua through uh, Jamaica, Cuba, even parts of the Bahamas, parts of South Florida, uh, the rest of Western Cuba, parts of the Yucatan, Belize, Honduras. All this through this area will be experiencing a, a lot of heavy rains, torrential downpours, and uh, this could potentially lead to flooding 
mudslides and other issues as well. As the system moves up towards the north, it will be moving into that warm, that very, very ridiculously warm ocean heat content here in the Western Caribbean. And I would not be surprised if this thing happens to ramp up to a very quickly developing hurricane uh, moving north towards Cayman Islands, Cuba, Florida, give or take. So uh, that is the general look at with the areas of interest here in the Western Atlantic. Um, just to lastly point out, uh, this is the um, this is the uh, tropical weather outlook. Uh, mentioning that northwestern part of that drop wave, which is expected to break off and head off towards the west northwest. Invest area 99L, the potential for development has decreased a bit, uh, but either way, rainfall expected within this area. I suspect that the National Hurricane Center will make mention of this area down here, maybe over the weekend or sometime in the early to middle part of the upcoming week. So that will be needed to be watched closely, as well as Maria, which is still out here in the Northern Atlantic. Lee, which has uh, transitioned into an extratropical system. These two systems are expected to make its way towards the UK with a potential landfall on the United Kingdom. Luckily, it is expected to transition into a somewhat of a uh, subtropical or tropical system, and it does so, uh, like, uh, sorry, non-tropical system, as it uh, heads towards the UK. Either way, uh, rain threat, wind threat is there. There are warnings uh, issued across the UK for those systems. So that will need to be uh, monitored for those folks in the UK. So yeah, this is a quick update. Nothing too fancy just yet. Might be back a little later on today with the more fancier stuff and uh, overall more details. But for now, this is what we got. Our main focus of interest is uh, parts of the Bahamas, South Florida, and also the Western Caribbean Sea is the main focus of interest over the next few weeks. We'll see how this plays out going forward in time, and uh, I would be uh, giving you updates uh, as they uh, get going. All right, so that's it from me, Adam here at Cayman Hurricane Center. I hope for you guys to have a wonderful day today. Uh, have a good morning uh, and stay safe out there. And uh, I'll be back a little later today. Thanks.